Today we're going to do something a little bit different than our previous videos. We're going to do a how-to video on how to clean a snook. Um, the snook I caught on a Slam Shady swim bait. It was a three and a half inch with a three eighths ounce jig head. Um, it definitely a solid bait. Caught a lot of fish. Definitely a popular bait. Um, now I'm going to kind of let Eric explain to you kind of the night and what happened on that night when we caught, yeah, the, caught a snook. The whole problem was we. It was at night. You know, snook normally bite at night, and that's a problem we've had with shooting snook fishing videos is we realized after we got the camera, all the snook fishing that we do is at night. And we tried to shoot a little bit of camera, like or a little bit of footage around the lights, and it didn't wind up working out. So we decided we're just going to shoot a, uh, a snook clean video because we looked around on YouTube and we didn't see one anywhere. So we figured we'd throw one up for you guys. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoy. Um, stay tuned. All right, guys, we got this one last night. She's frozen solid. I'm gonna do a little clean and cook. And let's get started. Probably been on ice for almost a solid 24 hours now. Um, scales are thick. Can't get through it. Fish is frozen solid. Yeah. Some big old scales. I gotta get through those scales. Not the easiest thing. Definitely want to have a sharp knife. This one could be sharper. Fall on the backbone right there. scales and stay out of the way of that knife <laughs> mm -hmm. right. be a big old fat fillet Just kind of follow that backbone. You can feel the rib bones down in there. Work your way around them. Dude, doing a good job on that one. There ain't nothing left on that thing. Just take your time. Kind of awkward there at the end. It's frozen all awkward. Work your fillet down. You can feel those nice rib bones. Big you, went, you went up and over the ribs? Yep, right over the rib bones. Let that blade fall along. Oh, there's one right there. There we go. Get that belly meat right there. Big old fillet. Oh, dude, that's a big old chunk. through you kind of feel the backbone there you can kind of work it down this fish is nice and cold is the meat like cold cold your yes, your like fingers get your, yeah your fingers, fingers getting cold freezing my fingertips bro <laughs> every time when you leave them in the cooler overnight much easier to clean it Slab of meat right there. There you go. Lay up a little further down. Yep. Try to get that big old fat tail, man. There you go. Yeah, pull that. I was gonna say pull that back up and show the tail. Show the size on the tail, dude. 
Look at the size of that thing. Big old fat tail. Here. Yeah, that's a, that's a hand for like size reference. And one of these pieces, we are gonna leave the skin on. We're gonna give a little taste on the, with the skin on. They say it's supposed to taste like soap. I don't know if anyone's ever tried that or not, but I'm kind of curious. Yeah, I've always heard that they're, they're, they used to be called soap fish back in the day that's the myth the legend the rumor so we're gonna see if it's true we're gonna cook a piece of this with the skin on and see if it's as terrible as it's supposed to be and so what we're doing here eric told me i haven't cleaned too many snook but eric told me there's a good yeah we did real well on that yep there's a good bloodline on right against the skin so lost a little bit right there but that ain't much that's a beautiful filet look at that awesome. beautiful clean her up do the same thing on the other side Cut in there. Look at that, dude. Look at that. This thing is a fucking beast. The size of that pectoral fin is almost the size of your hand. I can't even get the knife around it. There, go. beast, dude. Look at that tank. tank that is a monster for a 30 inch snook. That thing is huge. That one. We should have weighed it. We should have put it on the bass scale. We need a better scale. Yeah, we need to get a digital. That's why I didn't really want to. I thought you got one, Eric. It's it's not digital. Oh, it's not. It's just the regular. Yeah, it's just it's a it's an old bass scale, like analog one that came out of somebody's tackle box, and someone got it at a garage sale. I wouldn't say it's accurate. And um, Jen's gonna hate me, by the way, guys, the girlfriend. Obviously, you can oh. see scales <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, there are scales flying around our house right yeah. now. We had to. Well, we had to clean this tonight. I worked late. You guys know how it is. Yep. And we normally clean fish outside. Yeah, we got with a play a, table and with a light. Set up, yeah, we got a play table and everything outside, but we gotta get some good footage here. Yeah, you can't film outside at night, and everyone here works, so here we are. And it's always a little bit more tricky on this side, just because you don't have the other meat to make it even on the other side. It was kind of tricky to get in there, but just kind of follow it along. All that back, man. I heard a trick. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it yet, but I heard you can break the spine. Oh yeah. Yep. Like you can kind of like snap the neck, and then the fish will lay flatter. Huh. But that I haven't sense. tried it yet. Yeah. That dude, the freaking fillet is like trying to find the backbone, like down in there. Getting way in there, nothing left on there. Monster. Monster. Look at the size of that piece of meat on a snook. Mm -hmm. 
That's a fat one. We're gonna cut her belly open too and see what she wanted. Okay, let's uh make sure to leave a piece of the skin on it. Oh yeah, t take the the big end on like this play or something like that. We almost forgot. You almost just went for it. Right here, right? Yeah, just Looks a good, nice guys? yeah, nice person sized piece. This will be the piece that we leave the skin on. Like cook it like a half shell. That's the soap fish. And we'll see what happens. Supposedly. Experimental fish. According to myth and legend, that's supposed to taste terrible. We're going to find out. Do you think it'll taint our other meat? Shouldn't. Shouldn't, but we're not going to put it in with anything else just in case. Yeah. Just <laughs> I think we'll put it on another plate. Just keep it totally separate. Yeah. There's and blood. just doing the same thing. Just kind of follow along. Blood blood leaving, a, leaving a little, little bit, bit of, meat of meat on the skin. A there's a, the there's a big bloodline blood and like blood some line. kind of cartilage sort of stuff right up against the skin on snook that you don't want to try to eat. Yeah, look at the size of that. You just want the white meat. Oh, each one of those plays is a couple of pounds a piece. Easy. Ah, look at that, boys. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the footage. Um, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe below. Um, the link is there. And please, any love you can give our channel, we're trying to make this thing grow, get this thing going. Shark Mission Fishing out, baby. I should have like, <laughs> 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 <laughs>